Jaden is seven years old now. Jaden was, uh, was born perfectly healthy. At four months old, Jaden had his uh, first seizure. It was just a downhill road for there for the next few years. She's having 500 like twitching myclonic seizures a day. He'd have grandmas for an hour, hour and a half. I remember he was crying from like one o'clock at night to like nine in the morning, screaming, crying in pain. He was seeing things. He was hallucinating from the medications. At four and a half, Jaden was um, taking uh, 22 pills a day. He was at 25,000 pills he had taken by the time he was five years old. Jaden had tried 12 different medications. We had 40 ambulances because we were fighting with the insurance companies all the time. We lost our house, we lost our cars, we lost our business, we lost our family. I went to UCSF. I said, look, I don't think Jaden's gonna make it another week. What do you suggest? They're all, you know, I don't know. I mean, I would try anything. I go, what do you think about medical marijuana? They're all, well, like we said, you think we're a life and death situation, you should try anything. So I said, all right. I went and picked up something I saw in a, in a dispensary. Came home, I gave it to Jaden. After four and a half years of having my clonic seizures, 500 a day and twitching and head drops and seizing, the first day I gave it to him was, thank God, one million times. It was the first day he's ever went seizure-free in his life. And then after that, second day, third day, fourth day, the seizures were down dramatically. I could see his eyes lighting up. It was summertime, it was June 1st, the first day I gave it to him, 2011. He started swimming. Jaden's never been able to swim before. The sudden temperature change of water would give him a seizure. Boom, I put him in the front yard, and my neighbor's like, oh my gosh, we've never seen him in the front yard. They were so excited, they were cheering him on. I started weaning him off the medications after one month I was on the, on the CBD. Every time I took him off, he would suffer for two weeks, and boom, he'd become more human. Then take off another pill, suffer for two weeks, boom, become more human. Jaden started chewing. Jaden was only eating Gerber food all, all the way until he was five years old. He started chewing. With taking 25,000 pills, it really wears on your body and brain, so it was kind of recovering more from the medications than from the epilepsy. And we decided to wean off the hardest one, benzodiazepines. He was having um, tremors, nightmares, brain zaps. I've contacted uh, 30 different benzo withdrawal clinics. They go, how old is the person that's coming on that, that you want to bring into our clinic? And I tell them, seven years old. And they scream at the top of your lung, their lungs. Every single one vividly say the same exact thing. You have a seven-year-old on benzos? Because we have people here that are football players. We have people here that are big, tough guys that are dying, literally dying from benzos. And you have a seven-year-old on it? I said, seven-year-old? My son's been addicted to it since he's 16 months old. So now we have to figure out a way to wean them off by ourselves because the benzo detox clinics are not willing to take in a seven-year-old. Since we've been using the CBD, he's, he's been doing amazing. It has under 1% THC, so it doesn't give you that euphoria. Second thing is it's abstracted, it's organic. We know the dosaging, the milligrams. We're in the forefront of something huge. It's either you're gonna give up and just let your son be a child be a vegetable and die, or are you gonna sit there and fight? I still haven't met Jaden yet. I know Jaden in 22 pills, but I'm down to Jaden in two pills. That's who I know right now. I don't know Jaden, but on medication. Christmas before Jaden was born, that was my Christmas gift, was that Jaden was gonna be born. My ex-wife had to give me a box. I opened it and I remember, <sighs> it's a hard one. I remember opening the box and seeing a pregnancy test and saying positive with two baby shoes and then having so much expectation, you know? Having so much expectation that, uh, you know, you're gonna have your son. As a parent, you're expecting you know, your child to play football, you're expecting your child to talk, you, you know? <sighs> I mean, right now, my, my number one goal right now is to have my son say, I love you. I mean, people take for that for granted. People take that for granted. Their kids could talk and say, I love you. That's all I want to hear my son say. 
But I mean, if I could hear him say that, I'll be more than happy. He said it one time on CNN, I la lu, he was really close, but um, I gotta hear it. I mean, if, if he says that, I've already conquered the world. Seeing your child suffer, there's nothing worse than that. There's no torture worse than that, especially every day. Now is not the time to send a message to our young people that marijuana is medicine. It is not. It is a dangerous, illegal drug. Is it legitimate for any human on the face of planet Earth to deny another human being the thing that will remove him from that infinite torture chamber? No, it is not acceptable. It is utterly and completely immoral. I'm not allowed to do this because someone says I can't. And that person's never met me, they're never likely to meet me, they're never likely to meet someone with MS, Parkinson's, cancer, and yet they can have total rule over that entity's life. This is pretty, pretty much the only time that I'm gonna be lost for words. I just, the justification's still not being explained to me.